Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Today I'm going to try to explain as uh, briefly as I can the one of the functions available in some audio interfaces, especially low budget audio interfaces as well. The function that I'm actually talking about is the mono switch. And to explain this, I'm going to use my Behringer Firepower FCA 1616, which has a button called mono. I get asked a lot of times what that button is for and what's the purpose. So here's the explanation. The mono switch, which is found on the Behringer FCA 1616 and some of the Behringer's entry level um, audio interfaces and on some other uh, manufacturers who have, you know, entry level audio interfaces, they have a mono switch. So if you're wondering what the purpose of it is, basically it combines the left and the right channel of your input sources into mono so you can hear all the audio from the center and not just coming up from one ear or the other. Of course, this does not have any effect on the output of the audio interface being left and right. Now, even though audio interfaces are very similar to audio mixers, where in audio mixer you have every channel uh, which is combined down into a stereo bus, and then they have for microphone channels, because they are mono channels, they have left and a right panning. And if it's a stereo channel, then you have balance to balance the left and the right levels. And they all go into a stereo bus as your main output. Audio interfaces are very similar. They have inputs and they have outputs. And if your audio interface, like the case here, the FCA 1616, does not support any manual panning, either hardware-wise or through the software device drivers, then there is no option other than having that channel, input channel, let's say channel 1, 2, 3 or 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, designated to be left or right to the main output bus left and right. So if you plug a microphone into channel 1 of FCA 1616, that's designated to the left. So on your headphone, you will hear it on your left side not in the middle. And if you insert a microphone or any other audio source into channel two, then you hear it onto the right. And three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and respectively. So when you are doing a, a vocal take recording or uh, playing the guitar and you want to listen to it as you're playing while you're tracking it, uh, you're gonna be, end up hearing it onto the left or onto the right. That's when the mono switch comes in handy. When you press the mono switch, it combines the headphone output into a mono, then your vocal comes up into the center or any other instrument that you are playing comes into the center as well. As I mentioned, this does not affect the output left and right bus going into your output monitors or into your DAW. I should make a note that pressing the mono switch while you're listening from your PC or from your DAW does not mono the signal coming from your DAW because as I mentioned, the mono switch is for the input sources only. Well, I hope this answers some of the questions that I get about that mono switch on the FCA 1616, which I have done quite a few intensive and in detail videos on my channel. And if you haven't watched them and you'd like to know more about them, you know, use just some of the buttons here somewhere uh, to click and view the whole playlist there. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio.